Today I'm going to show you how to prep the footings and the columns for the um, hydro swing door. Hey, this is Cody Dalka with FBI Buildings again. First thing I'm going to need you to do is like and subscribe to our channel. All right, so what we need to do is get our, our nuts, washers, set to grade, check your plans. Now this is just a temporary base. This is gonna sit on my nuts and washer, so I got this shot to grade where I need it to be. This big guy is gonna sit right on top of here. And then I'm gonna fasten that down with a washer and a nut. Do that times four, get you, get you locked in there. And then once that's set in stone, you're gonna take your pre-stub. This is just a temporary stub. That'll sit right in there. Get that locked in. I also like to run a string line from end to end, obviously. And get your string line, get your stub matched up with your string line. Make sure you're all the way down. We'll get our structural screws. We'll screw this in tight. We'll get where we need to be. We'll find out where our I-beam height is. Once we find out where our I-beam height is, we can bring the I-beam in. And basically the I-beam's got two ears that's gonna fasten to this guy with our Q-lift system. So once everything goes up, take this guy out, replace it with a full-blown permanent column, usually a big steel column. All this will come out. That steel column will then sit back down on our nuts and washers to grade. All right, so we're back on the sidewall with a finished product. Obviously, this is temporary. Like we said, obviously, once everything goes up in the air, this main column is going to get switched out for a permanent column when we get to the 20-foot eave height. So basically, got our, our base bracket shot to grade, our studs on, GRK'd in. We got bolts and washers fastened all that down. We've got our I-beam height. And... If you can see back behind here, there's ears, temporary ears that fasten to this I-beam itself. So once we get everything up in the air, this is all GRK together. So once we get everything in the air, this will all come apart and then we'll, we'll put our, our main permanent steel beam in. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Always got tips and tricks going on. So definitely like and subscribe, stay tuned and uh, catch you next time.